Hey everyone, there's a new and super handy way to define colors in CSS called Relative Colors. With this, you can create lighter, darker, or tinted versions of any color using just one line of CSS. Imagine creating all your shades based on one accent color, so when that color changes, every shade updates automatically. No more hacks or workarounds. Just pick a single theme color and your entire site updates. Backgrounds, buttons, and containers all adjust on their own. Pretty cool, right? Let's jump in. I've created a card with a hover effect, and I'm using a different hex color for it. First, I convert that hex value into HSL, where the first value is hue, the second is saturation, and the third is lightness. If you want to learn more about color formats, check out our CSS Colors video. Now I'll set the card background using an HSL relative color. The magic comes from this simple line. HSL from color HSL, which tells CSS to reuse the hue, saturation, and lightness from the original color. From there, we can adjust any of those values to create lighter, darker, or custom versions. Here, I'm only changing the lightness. Using the calc function, I set L-10, and the card instantly gets a slightly darker background, all with one line. That's because CSS takes the lightness from the original color and reduces it by 10%. Super easy. Then I add a hover effect by lowering the lightness by 20%, giving the card an even darker shade when you hover over it. And if you want a lighter version, just increase the lightness value. For example, the paragraph text uses L plus 30, which makes it a lighter shade of the same base color. You can also use an alpha value with relative colors. Here, I'm using 0.3 for the card's hover state. When you hover over the card, the color becomes about 30% lighter, and if you change the original color, the relative version updates instantly. It's a super easy way to create matching shades without manually picking new colors every time. I used the HSL color format here, but OKLCH can actually be an even better choice for relative colors. It gives you more accurate and consistent results, especially when you're creating lighter or darker shades. So if you want smoother color transitions, OKLCH is a great option. We'll use custom properties in the colon root and access them with var open parenthesis whenever we set a color. Right now, we have separate light and dark color palettes, but we don't need those anymore, since we want the design to work with any color. So I'll remove the old variables and hard-coded colors and move everything into the body in a new, cleaner way. The only issue is that these colors are still fixed values. To build my relative color palette, I'm using the background color as the base. I want the card color to react to that base color, so I'm removing their old values and switching them to OKLCH. Using from VARBG color, we grab the L, C, and H values, lightness, chroma, and hue. Chroma works a lot like saturation. In this setup, the surface color matches the base color, but we can adjust any part of it. I'm increasing the lightness with calc by multiplying it by 1.5, which makes it 50% brighter. You can also adjust chroma or hue if you want, but changing the lightness is enough here. We can also base the button color on the background color, since we want the buttons to look more saturated and stand out. So we'll do the same thing again and use OKLCH from the BG color. This time, the color needs to be much brighter and more vibrant, so we increase the lightness by 30, boost the chroma by 0.15, and shift the hue by 10 degrees. With just one line, we get a brighter, more colorful version of the original shade automatically. And if you change the background color, all the related colors update instantly. You can see the difference right away in the browser. You can also use the OK Lab color format for relative colors. It lets you adjust the lightness, as well as the A and B values, so you can create smooth, natural variations of your base color with ease. 
Now I'm setting a relative RGB color for the heading. This tells CSS to reuse the red, green, and blue values from the original color. You can even use hex values with relative colors. Here, I add an alpha value, set the green channel to 0.3, and then adjust the blue channel with B-30. It's a super quick way to create consistent color variations without manually choosing new colors every time. You can also use a color name with relative colors. Here, I'm using hot pink and reusing only its green channel three times. That means the red, green, and blue values all come from hot pink's green value, creating a completely new shade from just one part of the original color.